In this video, we'll take a look at the DA50 1.8 and the DA Star 55 1.4. As you can see, there is quite a bit of difference in size, but let's take a closer look at each lens. The DA50 has a focal length of 50mm. This gives you a field of view similar to that of a 75mm on full 135 format. The maximum aperture is 1.8, so it's really excellent for low light shooting and getting a nice out of focus background. The focus ring feels very nice, and the lens is fast to autofocus. The only accessories included are the front and rear caps. A lens hood is optional. The DA50 is very small and lightweight. Other than the glass, the lens is all plastic down to the lens mount. This is not a bad thing, and is part of the reason the lens is so light. Overall, the lens feels solid and well made. The DA Star 55 has a focal length of 55mm. This gives you a field of view closer to that of an 85mm on full 135 format. This is a classic focal length for shooting portraits. The maximum aperture is 1.4, so it too is really excellent for low light shooting and getting a nice out of focus background. The DA55 is actually one of the larger lenses of its kind on the market. It also weighs quite a bit more than most, but there's a good reason for that. The build quality is really impressive. The outer construction is of a very high quality plastic and feels as if it can take a hard hit. The lens mount is metal and has a gasket for weather sealing. In fact, the entire lens is weather sealed. The lens has a proper distance scale and even features aperture marks. The focus ring is large and smooth. The lens focuses quietly by using an ultrasonic motor which Pentex calls SDM. The included lens hood features a removable panel for training of a circular polarizer. The lens also comes with front and rear caps, plus a nice pouch to store the lens. Let's take a look at some photos from both lenses. Here we have a shot from the DA50 at 1.8. As you can see, the background blur is quite nice and smooth. It really isolates the subject nicely. Here we have the same shot with the DA55 at 1.4. The background blur is smoother here. Even stopped down to 1.7, it's a tad smoother than the DA50 at 1.8. Let's look at a side-by-side -side from the two lenses. Both are indeed smooth and creamy, but the DA55 is just a little smoother. Which lens to choose? That's a difficult decision. While the DA55 is clearly a better built lens with weather sealing and image quality that's nothing short of stunning, the DA50 is pretty close optically at a much lower price. It truly is an excellent lens leaving little to be desired. You really can't go wrong with either one.